Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with part number 5 in my Kaleidos mini series and if you don't know what this is I will leave my first part up here so you can check out where I talk a little bit more about this but today it is the last part and part number 5 and I am of course using the Electro Turquoise palette it looks like this and for highlighter I am using Skywalker because this is the only highlighter I have left and I thought that this was going to go good together with this because this is a turquoise palette and this is a blue hint tint to it so I think we just get started okay so I will start with this one in my crease and I will write all all the colors down in the description which I'm using so if you want to know the name of the color I will leave it down there but I will start with this one and I will take this in my crease as I already said and I really hope that you have liked this area I have because I love my Kaleidos palettes it's some of my absolute favorite palettes but <laughs> I like don't know what to do with them. I have done a first impression of all of them. I have done a palette bingo with all of them. I have done a face off with three of them and yeah. But it feels like I want to do more. So if you have like if you want to see something special with them just write a comment and I will see if I can do that because it seems like a lot of you like when I'm working with the Kaleidos palettes and I really get why because they are amazing so then I will go in with this dark one and then after this I am going to do something that I'm looking so much forward to so I go in with this and I did a halo in my first impression with this palette I'm at least pretty sure that I did so I don't think I've done a halo eye in this mini series but I think I did a halo eye in my first impression with the astro pink and with this one and I can't do halo eyes all the time even though I love them and once again I will say it feels like I'm repeating myself so much but if it looks a little bit bad out here I still have that dry patch I am thinking about taking a break from doing makeup for a while just to see if uh, I can get rid of that Okay, so something like this. And I want to do... I saw Debbie's... Um, I can leave her up here. Her first impression with this palette. And she used this shimmer. And I was like, that is such a good shade. So I want to take this one. And put it almost over the rest of my lid. But not the whole way. This is such a nice color. Okay, so I do something like that and then I will go back in with the dark one to make the blend a little bit better. And I love how intense these are without like glitter glue. I love that about Kaleidos shimmers. Even though I don't think I've talked about this before, I don't think a shimmer shade is bad, just that if you need to use a glitter glue. But it's like I still love it when I don't need to. And then. For my inner, for the rest a little bit here, I will of course take this one. And this I may think I need to 
spray or maybe not, we will see. I think I used this as, as an inner corner. And it feels like this is more like a topper shade. Where I should have taken my crease color and put that down and then put this over. I think that that would have been awesome. But I feel with this one, as in the Astro Pink, that amazing duochrome. That works if you really, really pack it on. And I think it is the same with this one. And then I just go in with the brush that I had on the middle shade. And blend it. It's not, not so much to blend, but... So, I think that I will go like this. It looks really, really... I think it looks better in real life than in camera because I don't think you can see like all the sparkles in the corner. But I really hope you can. So, I will go and take away the fallouts, do the most of my base, but then we do the highlighter together. And we are actually going to do the lips together today, but more about that when I come back for the highlighter part. Okay, so... Time for the highlighter and it's Skywalker and yes, I am a little bit afraid of this so Let's go and it feels like people really love this both Teresa Stead and Lacey for spooky lips and fat hips. I think love this so Yeah, just give it a try And this is one of the ye ones and I am pretty sure that it is two different formulas on these highlighters. And okay, I didn't go in with that much from the beginning because if you have seen the other videos, you know how that can be. I'm building this up and yes, please. This is so nice. I don't know if you see it that much but it's like oh no i think i got too much it is blue but not like too blue and oh my lord now i got too much i hope you can see this you think maybe i would have learned after five videos to do a good highlighting action on camera uh, no. Maybe there. Okay, I think I got a little bit too much on this side. I was like, I can go in with much, but maybe not this much. Now I have like, what happened here in my forehead? I want just a little hint up there, but what the hell? Okay, do you see this? I really like this. Why is like one side is okay, none of the side was that good today. I really like this highlighter. I don't have that many blue highlighters. Should we maybe do the flash test? If I can unlock my phone that is. Oh, this is so glittery. Okay, how can I best show this to you? I have no idea, but this is like insane. <laughs> but I don't feel that this is like, like laying on top of my face. But I will spray my face with some setting spray because dry face. I am. Okay, it feels like it looks even more awesome now than it did before. Oh my lord. Okay, so let's go into the under eyes and I will... I first was like, I'm going to take the blue, but I think I will take the orange. And have underneath my eye. And I don't think that I will do like an inner corner highlight for this look. Yeah, I know. Who am I? But I like, I can't do it on all the looks I do. 
Okay, so I have something more to test out from Toledo's, but I will take on my mascara and something in my waterline and then we will test the last things from Kaleidos. Okay, so I think you can guess what I have left. Kaleidos released lip liquid lipsticks and glasses and I got them in PR and thank you so much Kaleidos. So I wanted to include some in this look. So it is six different ones and I think it's three, three lip stains or liquid lipsticks and three glasses. So, but this video is not going to be about these. If you want me to do a video on these, I can do it. But I wanted to use two of them in this video. So I'm going to use a lip tonic that is Immersion. Kaleido, so why are you doing this to me? Immersion. I have no idea. And Crystallize. That is a lipstick that is blue. So... Did I say lipstick? Lip gloss? So I will first take this and this is going to be my first impression on my lips. I have swatched them but not have tried them. So it comes in this sturdy, pretty heavy box tube and it's a do foot that I like and okay. I hate to put on lipsticks on camera and it doesn't smell anything special. So we will see. If it's a little bit cold. And I guess that this is more like a lip stain. It feels cold on the lips, it doesn't feel drying or anything and I think that this will dry down. It feels like it looks so much darker on camera. It feels good on the lips. It feels like it's still drying a little bit. It was easy to paint on. I like this do foot applicators more that are not like a long flat thingy. I like when they have a little bit of shape. It's easier to get around the lip. And this feels good. I like the color. I'm going to put this over and when I have swatched this on my hand it looks amazing. <laughs> so time to put this on. Now I don't think that this will dry down anymore but I really like this. It feels that I have something on my lips but it's not drying at all. Okay so and this applicator is like this big flat one but because this is lip gloss glaze I guess it's more okay <laughs> or I you don't have to be that precise okay okay I don't know if you can see this but this looks so cool Okay, and as you may know, I'm not the biggest fan of lip gloss and it's just because it's so sticky. This feels sticky, but maybe not. And it looks... Maybe I have to zoom in. It has like blue and green and purple or purple and green specks in it. I'm not a super big fan, so for me to like review a lip gloss I'm not the best person. But yeah, this is now I'm sitting so close. <laughs> Maybe we should just end this video for me being this up close. But yeah, this is my finished look with the, the Electro Turquoise Skywalker highlighter and these two lip products. And a little short of the lip products, this one I think can be a really big favorite for me. It feels so good. The lip gloss, I think I just need to try to like lip glosses, but this is, it's cool. And the highlighter, I really like this. It's like, I think this is a pretty unique one. This and Laser Glazer, the green one, are the most unique ones, I think. And this looks really cool. 
and the palette I love the palette because I love them all and I like this look I think it was a good thing to take the orange underneath my eye so yeah this is the finished look and the complete series my little mini series here with Kaleidos it has been so fun to sit down and play with some of my absolute favorite palettes and to test out new highlighters if you want like a more in-depth review with the highlighters please let me know and if you want a video on the lip things maybe swatches and stuff like that please let me know as well and i will fix that so yeah i really hope you have liked this and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and i hope i will see you in the next one bye